Welcome back into the Stochastic YouTube channel. Guys, my name is Jeff Ulrich, and in this video, we're going to be bringing you some No House Advantage Monday Night Football picks. We got the Chicago Bears visiting the New England Patriots. This is going to be running in this game. If you like rushing the football, you've come to the right place. And if you're new to No House Advantage, well, you've come to the right place as well because we're offering a nice new deposit bonus for people new to the site. I'll give that in a second, but, you know, No House Advantage dropping a lot of different ways to play on it. We got the Pick'em Contest where you're going up against other people. You're creating lineups, putting props, different values in it. And then you got uh, the Versus the House Contest where you're creating your own parlay style multiplier tickets. So that's No House Advantage. And in this video, we're going to be dropping, again, our favorite plays for Monday Night Football. And as I mentioned, if you're new to the site, use promo code STOCHASTIC when you're signing up to No House Advantage. That's going to give you a $50 match deposit a bonus right off the bat so 50 free dollars when you deposit 50 dollars if you use promo code stochastic it's just a great bankroll builder great way to just try out the site you can try out the pick them contest again we got a 20k guaranteed contest for just for monday night football with 10k to first there has been overlay on the site as well guys so really recommend checking out no house advantage again a couple different ways to play it's just a unique format as well which i'm going to get into more when we talk about the picks we also have free projections for no house advantage over on stochastic.com i really recommend you check those out after this video as well again they're free they're up there for every nfl slate and you can use them in these big contests so Let's get into the picks. Again, we got the Chicago Bears. We got the New England Patriots. Look, it's the Bears. We know what we're getting at this point. They're going to run the football. They're going to watch Justin Fields get sacked a lot as well because their O-line stinks, but Fields probably going to be making some big plays with his feet as well as trying to get the ball downfield to Darnell Mooney. So that's what we're expecting in this game. Lower scoring, obviously, Patriots around eight-point favorites at home. Let's start with the Patriots when we're talking about our picks. Let's start with Damian Harris because we don't have a Ramondre Stevenson prop for today. That's okay in the pick'em contest. We do have two running backs. Harris is healthy. He's been practicing all week. He's more than likely going to be out there and taking his normal workload tonight. It's only a 48.5 rushing prop for Damian Harris. And on our projections, we do have him for a lot bigger than this. Again, Stevenson and him gonna be splitting carries, but if Harris is healthy and out there, this is a really low prop, and it's a good one to go over on, in my opinion, as well. Damian Harris efficient with the ball. Going up against the Chicago defense, that's probably going to get worn down in this game for the simple fact that their offense can't move the ball. So, Harris, over 48.5 rushing yards. I love starting with this one. Again, it's a play I would probably put middle, maybe upper tier lineup, but it's definitely projecting as strong for us. Let's stick with the Patriots offense because, again, like they are eight-point favorites here. The Chicago Bears defense isn't going to put up a ton of resistance and the Bears on offense probably aren't going to have the ball a ton. So Mac Jones at 182.5 for a passing prop. And look, I mean, there's a little bit of concern with Mac Jones. He's coming off the, the injury. Does he even get pulled in this game if he starts out poorly? I don't know. I mean, things could happen. But at 182.5, the passing total here is just too low for us. Uh, we do have Mac Jones projected for over 200 yards. So I think that you pair Harris and Jones together. You're getting two really low props on two starters for the New England Patriots. It makes a ton of sense to go here, I think. He's still got decent wide receivers. He's still got running backs who can, can do stuff for him after the catch. We don't need Mac Jones to do much to go over this total. And again, going up against such a weak offense in the Bears, I do think that the, at least the, the opportunities will be there for Mac Jones to go over this. So 182.5. Again, it's just too low. I, I mean, you have to like the Patriots at home as big favorites. And I think since we're getting low props, makes sense to go over here. I'm going to go with one more Patriot over as well for our last Patriot of this, of this video. Jacoby Myers, 4.5 receptions. Myers has kind of been like, you know, I, again, they don't really have a, an, an alpha passing game or a passing game that necessarily is going to strike fear into opponents. But Jacoby Myers has been the guy's a great possession receiver. We have him projected for well over this. This is a strong overplay at 4.5 receptions. Myers is the dude that Mac Jones is going to work over the middle. If he wants to get the ball out quick, protect himself a bit. It's going to be Myers. It's not going to be Devontae Parker downfield or the tight ends who just don't do anything on New England this year. Jacoby Myers is that guy. And 4.5 receptions, we have this projected just a little bit too low. We have uh, Myers for over 5.5 receptions. We have him for a pretty big target share as well. And he really has been kind of producing under the radar in spots. I think going to him for an over here is fine. Again, playing all the overs on these Patriots guys, it may seem like a little much, but these are really low props. They're favorites at home. I like doing that, and it, it projects as a strong play for us. Okay, we've talked about the Patriots enough. Patriots offense isn't that good. We've talked about them way too much. 
We got to throw in some Bears stuff here. Justin Fields. We do not have a rushing prop on Justin Fields, which sucks because he's probably going to be running the ball quite a bit in this game, in my opinion. Patriots pass rush, probably going to be dialing it up. Belichick knows this is a weak uh, O-line he's going up against. But we do have a passing prop at 181.5. And this is significantly bigger than we're seeing on Justin Fields across the industry. For that reason, I definitely like the under here. We have Justin Fields projected as a pretty strong underplay at this number. It makes a ton of sense. Again, you've got a Patriots defense that's been playing better. I really do think they're going to dial up the pressure on Fields, essentially make him beat them with his legs, which he could do, I guess. But, you know, at 181.5, this is actually a really big number for Justin Fields. He's been good going over 160 consistently of late, even 170. But 181, we're getting into territory here where we're going to need like a big day. We're going to need the Bears O-line to show up. And I just don't think that's going to happen. So give me Justin Fields for under 181.5 passing yards. Again, this is just a really strong play. Free projections that we have up on stochastic.com. You can check this out, verify it. You can look if there's other plays as well to correlate. But I think Fields will probably be rushing a lot in this game, which means less passing. Let's go under. It just makes too much sense. Now, I just want to talk about one more prop. Darnell Mooney is out there. I do like Darnell Mooney in the spot, which is weird because I just talked about the underpassing yards. But Mooney has a really good... He's kind of just been the only receiver for the Bears. So even if he gets 70 yards, we could see Fields still go under his passing prop. But Mooney's passing prop is 57.5. It's really big, but he's got a 28% team target share. And I do think if you want to be contrarian in your pick'em contest, because remember... Your lineups are going up against a bunch of other people. There's seven po seven spots to fill out, seven points, one through seven. You got to sign the values. Mooney going over 57.5. I could see this happening. I think it's a good contrarian move for the pick'em contest. Just wanted to throw that out there. I think that's the one bear that I'm kind of bullish on in this game. Again, I'm not sure how much it's going to correlate with fields, but you could pair those two together, get really contrarian. But Darnell Mooney is a player I'm kind of bullish on for this game. Just want to throw that out there. So again, just a quick recap, guys. We're going to go over Damian Harris, 48.5 rush yards. Over Mac Jones, 182.5 passing yards. Over Jacoby Myers, 4.5 receptions. Then we're going to, go, going to go under on the Bears, Justin Fields, 181.5 passing yards. Just too big for this game. Make sure you check out Stochastic.com after you're done watching this video. The free projections for No House Advantage up on site. Use promo code Stochastic if you're new to No House Advantage. It's going to give you a $50 match deposit bonus right off the hop. I hope you guys have a great Monday Night Football. I'm Jeff Ulrich, and we'll talk to you soon.